The Swamis of Chitrapur, an illustrated series in 10 episodes based on the Guru Parampara Charitra. Many years ago, as the Saraswati River started drying up, the Saraswat started migrating from Kashmir to other parts of India. Some travelled down towards Rajasthan, Gujarat and a few finally arrived in Goa to stay. To escape religious persecution, from Goa, they had fled to the southern part of India. By 1708 CE, they had settled in the areas around Nagar in Karnataka. The Saraswats, who now lived in the kingdom of Nagar, were highly educated and enjoyed eminent positions in the king's court. Soon, envy reared its head amongst the local people. Something has to be done to quell the Saraswats' growing authority. We must complain to our king. These Saraswats call themselves Brahmans, but they neither have Mat nor Guru. And yet they hold such important positions at court? The king said to the Saraswats, Introduce me to your Guru. Failing which, I will have to relieve you of your positions and titles. The Saraswats were in deep turmoil. We must pray at the temple of Mahabadeshwar in Gokarn for a Guru. Only Lord Shiva can save us now. After seven days of prayers, Gayatri Purusharan and fasting, a Saraswat elder had the divine vision of Lord Bhavani Shankar. A clear voice rang out. Wait at Koti Tirtha. A sannyasi will arrive from the north. He will be your guru. The Saraswats rushed to Koti Tirth and waited eagerly for their Guru. It was Maga Shukla Ratha Saptami. As the sun set that day, they saw the tall sannyasi. An image of divinity approached. wearing saffron robes adorned with Rudraksh malas, bhasma and a chandana tilaka, carrying a danda and a kamandalu, and a beautiful idol of Lord Bhavani Shankar in his jhola. He strode towards them with a the chant on his lips, Narayana, Narayana, Narayana. The Saraswats were overjoyed and fell at his feet. Swamiji, be our guru and guide us. Then, they narrated to the sannyasi all that had happened. The sannyasi said, It was Lord Bhavani Shankar's Adesh that I come to Koti Tirtha. Do not be afraid. I will be your Guru. Filled with joy, the Saraswats carried their Guru in a decorated palki in a ceremonious procession to the Umamaheshwar temple and ordained him as their first Mathadipati, His Holiness Paridnyana Ashram Swamiji. The Saraswats along with Swamiji met the king. At the court, the king still doubtful said, Bring a letter of recognition and acknowledgement from the Swami of Sringeri Mat. That will quell all my doubts. The Saraswats were troubled by the king's statement. But Swamiji was calm and composed. I have a lot of affection for the Sringeri Swami and I welcome the opportunity to meet him. Paridnyanashram Swamiji went with a few Saraswats to the Sringeri temple of Shardamba but found the doors of the temple closed for them. Swamiji was unperturbed. He said, If I cannot have Devi Shardamba's darshan, I will sit at the closed temple doors and worship her right here. Such was the power of Swamiji's tapas 
that it drew the Devi's splendor towards him. That night, the Sringeri Swami dreamt of Devi Shardamba. He awoke, startled. She said, Lord Shiva had arrived at the mart today, but the temple doors were closed for him. This has saddened me tremendously, and so I will leave with him. The Sringeri Swami readied himself and went straight to the temple. He was aghast at what he saw. Why, the idol has lost all her radiance. A great soul has indeed not been given due respect. Soon, the Sringeri Swami went to meet Parinana Ashram Swami Ji. He needed no other proof when he saw the Devi's radiance shine on Parinana Ashram Swami Ji's countenance. The Sringeri Swami gave Parinana Ashram Swami Ji gifts of cloth. He then said, "Please excuse the transgression, Swami Ji." I appeal to you to come to the mart and restore the Devi splendor. Swami ji smiled. No transgression has taken place. Bhavani Shankar is the giver; he is the taker. The idol of the Devi will definitely shine with the same brilliance as before. At the temple, Swami ji performed an anushthan and appealed to the Devi to shine in her original splendor. The Sringeri Swami was overjoyed to see the Devi as she had always been. He showered Swami Ji with all the emblems that proclaimed his greatness: the chhatra, chamar, and other mat bhushanas, the birudavali, and the right to an arvi palki. He also gave Parinana Ashram Swami Ji a letter of recognition and acknowledgement. The strong and loving relationship between the swamis of the two mats. remains so even today back in nagar overwhelmed by what had transpired in sringeri the king fell at swami ji's feet do forgive me swami ji i have heard the compassionate swami blessed the king the saraswat soon built a mat at bhandikeri in gokarn for swami ji to recite with swami ji's blessings The Saraswats continued to thrive at the king's court. They sought Swami ji's guidance on many matters and they benefited by the pravachans he gave. Their love for their guru deepened and their connection to the mart strengthened. Years later, the devotees requested Parinana Ashram Swami ji to take a shishya. Swami ji agreed to their request. The Saraswats approached Krishnaya Kulkarni of the Hari Takers. Your only son Martu is most suited to become the Shishya Swami. Please do give your consent. Krishnaya Kulkarni agreed. The first Shishya Swikar took place on Chaitra Shuddha Purnima, 1720 CE. The Shishya was named Shankar Ashram. 14 days later, on Chaitra Krishna Chaturdashi, His Holiness Parigyan Ashram Swami Ji Prathama. took maha samadhi the samaj had had swami ji's divine presence amongst them for 12 years parinana ashram swami ji's samadhi sannidhi was consecrated in bhandikeri math gokarn स्नान जप निगमादि संस्तुत मौन यम नियमादि सकल ध्यान धारण वर समाधि ज्ञान योग दृढ़व्रत ज्ञान वारिधि सकल शास्त्र विशारदा द्वय विषयक अज्ञान तिमिरा नित्य सुपरि ज्ञान वर गुरवे नमः
कर के बंदन में संसार तुम्हारे हाथों में ये जीवन सारा अर्पण है मेरा जीवन सारा अर्पण है पर तुम्हारे चरणों में पर तुम्हारे चरणों में हे प्रेम सदा भरपूर रहे आठों में सदा हे रूप रहे और मन चरणों में लगा रहे हर पल हर दिन मेरी आर है हर पल हर दिन मेरी आर है परिचान तुम्हारे चरणों में परिचान तुम्हारे चरणों में हे प्रेम सदा भरपूर रहे मैं बार बार गुरु कहता हूँ आगे तुम्हारी मर्जी है सारे बंदों की
पूछे खोया कुछ नहीं पाया तेरी कृपा से मैं बालक प्रभु तेरी कृपा से मैं बालक प्रभु
Guru Kripa Vandana Guru Kripa Vandana 